Hello everyone, I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about different types of traction system. First, let us consider the requirement for ideal traction system. Ideal traction system must exert high starting torque and because of high starting torque, high rate of acceleration and maximum speed is possible. It should be compact in size as small as possible. It must self-contained meaning is it can travel at any route. Large overload capacity even for a shorter duration of time it should have a large overload capacity. Maintenance required should be minimum. Braking system must be smooth and regenerative braking is preferable. Now let us consider the classification of different types of traction system. Our traction system is broadly classified into two categories. One is a non-electrical traction system and second that is a electrical traction system. In case of non-electrical traction system, we have steam engine and IC engine as a next category. But in case of electrical traction system, again we have diesel engine electric drive petrol engine electric drive, battery operated electrical drive and electrical drive. So we will see advantage and disadvantage of all the systems one by one. Let us start with a steam engine drive. A reciprocating steam engine is most commonly used for propulsion. For a longer period of time, we had been using steam engine for our locomotive system. Now let us consider certain features of steam engine drive. It has a simple construction and smooth speed control. Operational dependability on fuel and water it require coal as a fuel and it require water. So for operation, it is dependent on fuel as well as water. Maintenance is simple, but reporting time is quite high. 8 to 12 hours are required to put again the locomotive into service. Efficiency is very low, 8 to 10 percent. Overload capacity is again very limited. It causes wear and tear on rail because of reciprocating action. It creates pollution and the smoke is responsible for corrosive effect on the steel. Propulsion quality is inferior low coefficient of adhesion, so a reduced power to weight ratio and it is not suitable for underground as well as suburban services. But it is self-contained so it can travel at any route. Initial cost is low. Now let us consider IC engine drive. It has a constant torque at any speed, hence it can be used for light traction duty and heavy railway train. First we consider advantage of IC engine drive. Low initial cost, this can be considered as one of the cheapest drive. 
self contained so it can travel at any route simple speed control and braking system high efficiency compared to steam locomotive in same way it has a certain disadvantage life of propelling equipment is very less overload capacity is low maintenance cost is high operation cost vary due to varying fuel cost it requires either petrol or diesel operation cost may vary for heavy duty train service performance is not satisfactory now diesel electric drive diesel engine is used to generate electric power by means of generator coupled to it and generator supplies electric power to electric motor which drive the locomotive we have been using diesel electric drive in india since a quite long period and it is very successful also let us consider certain advantage initial cost is low as track electrification is not required no modification in existing track needed it is a electric drive but we use a diesel to generate the electricity in the locomotive itself so track electrification or any modification in the track system is not required so initial cost is very less no reporting time it can be prepared for the service at any moment of time power loss during speed control is less and self contained so it can travel to any route overall efficiency is quite high and then we have disadvantage of diesel electric drive also overload capacity is limited life is low special cooling system is required operating and maintenance cost is high regenerative braking is not possible for same power capacity cost of diesel electric locomotive is more compared to steam locomotive fuel crisis can affect its performance dead weight ratio is more the next category that is a petrol electric drive it can have capability to move slowly on up gradient all the advantages and disadvantages are similar to the diesel electric drive battery operated electric drive battery supply power to the driving motors used for small distance travel and light duty service so based on this uh, all the different types of traction system now let us see the general arrangement for main line services as well as sub urban line services first let us consider the essential requirement for the main line railway service maximum speed must be higher minimum cost of track electrification for main line service so we use single phase ac system because 25 kv overhead catenary system reduces conductor section and hence because of less conductor size simplified structure design is possible because of very high 
voltage the spacing between substations are more so number of substations can be reduced and equipment required for substations can be reduced as well as we can have a cheaper land or as per our requirement we can locate the land for the substation maintenance cost is less cheap and efficient equipment of ss system so these are some of the essential features of the mainland services in same way we have sub urban railway service essential requirement that is a rapid acceleration and retardation rates due to frequent start and stop in case of sub urban railway service the distance between stoppage that is less so essential requirement is a rapid acceleration and the retardation rates motor performance should not be affected by voltage fluctuations and the interference to the nearby telecommunication line should be very less now let us see which type of traction system is most suitable for the sub urban railway service energy consumption is less in dc system compared to ss system for similar condition for exerting same torque less current is required in dc system compared to ss system the dc locomotive and motor coach equipment are lighter in weight cheaper in initial cost and maintenance so we have seen that uh, all the traction system are having certain advantage and certain disadvantage so normally for main line service nowadays we go for composite type of track system thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much